Hi, welcome back to another video. So today, here's the topic of our discussion, egg. And regardless of not eating eggs for more than five years, if a new life itself can come out of this egg, the latest studies show that there is something called as dietary cholesterol, and there is also something called as serum cholesterol. It is not always necessary that when you are taking cholesterol in your diet, this process is called as cholesterol homeostasis. However, if you are diabetic, meaning your blood sugar levels are higher, if you are a person who is already having elevated cholesterol levels, then probably I would know what has caused them to have that higher level of cholesterol level. When I say fat, don't think it as something that is very negative. The trans fat, this is the major, major culprit. Poaching and also scrambled egg by using little oil fasting lipid profile test it can increase cholesterol i have come across many people who are having a lot of misconception about egg and if you have clicked on this video i assume that you also would have a lot of misconception about egg the common questions that i get regarding egg is will eating egg increase my cholesterol or not should i eat egg yolk or should i eat only the egg white how many eggs can i eat a day by the end of this video, you will be getting the answer for all these questions. Before we get into the main discussion today, let me share you a case that I have received a couple of years ago. This lady, almost in her mid-40s, came to me to treat some of her conditions. One of the major conditions was her elevated serum cholesterol level. And while I was taking the case history, I got to know that this lady has stopped eating eggs for more than 5 years. Why? Just because somebody told her eating eggs can keep her cholesterol levels high. And regardless of not eating eggs for more than 5 years, her cholesterol level stayed high. Now what does this case tell us? Egg shouldn't be the only culprit for increased cholesterol levels, isn't it? Let us find it out. What is an egg? An egg is an embryo. An embryo from which a whole new life itself will come out. If a new life itself can come out of this egg, this egg should have all the nutrients that can support the development of a whole new life, isn't it? So, egg can be considered as a nutrient powerhouse. Now, let us find out what are the nutrients a whole egg contains. Each whole egg contains almost 6 grams of protein, which is mostly found in the egg white. It also has got almost 5 grams of fat, which is mostly found in the egg yolk. It also has got almost 185 milligrams of cholesterol. Egg is also rich in vitamins and minerals. It is rich in vitamin A, D, B12, also minerals such as selenium, choline, iron and phosphorus. Now I'm sure that you won't be very keen to know about these numbers. Let us talk about the elephant in the room, cholesterol. Just now we mentioned that a whole egg has got almost 186 milligrams of cholesterol. So very naturally we would think that if I eat a whole egg, I am taking almost 186 milligrams of cholesterol, which can actually increase our cholesterol level in the blood. But the latest studies show that it is not really the case. Here the concept that you have to understand is that there is something called as dietary cholesterol and there is also something called as serum cholesterol. As the name suggests, dietary cholesterol is the cholesterol that we intake through our diet and serum cholesterol is the cholesterol that is present in our blood. Now listen carefully. It is not always necessary that if you are taking cholesterol in your diet, your serum cholesterol should go up. In a healthy individual, almost 80% of the cholesterol is produced by the liver. Now assume that a healthy individual almost produces 1000 milligrams of cholesterol a day. Now also imagine that you are intaking 200 milligrams of cholesterol through your diet. Your body has got wonderful mechanisms to understand that you have already got 200 milligrams of cholesterol through your diet. And as a result, what happens? Your liver on that day will produce only 800 grams. Why? Because we need only 1000 milligrams of cholesterol a day. This process is called as cholesterol homeostasis through which our body is maintaining the cholesterol level in it. Now I know what will be your immediate next question. If the body has got a beautiful cholesterol homeostasis mechanism, how can somebody get higher cholesterol level? This is where the other underlying conditions and other genetic backgrounds come into the picture. Now, you can argue me by saying that, say your dad was diagnosed to have higher cholesterol level since two years. Before two years, his cholesterol levels were well under control. So what has contributed to that spike in cholesterol level? Is it eating egg yolk or is it some other factors? So increased cholesterol level is mainly found because of higher intake of saturated fat, trans fat and also excess carbohydrates. These three are the major culprits of increased cholesterol levels. Okay, let me clarify a little further. We have got four different type of fats. 
When I say fat, don't think it as a very negative thing. We have got good fat. We also have got bad fat. All right. Anyway, we have got four different types of fat. The first one is called as polyunsaturated fat. The second one is called as monounsaturated fat. The third one is called as saturated fat. And the last one is called as trans fat. If I want to classify these into good and bad, the first two, which is the monounsaturated fat and the polyunsaturated fat, these are the very good fat that you can have. The saturated fat you can take in moderation, but the trans fat, this is the major, major culprit. You really have to reduce or avoid the intake of trans fat. If I want to quickly mention monounsaturated fat, which is one of the healthier fats that we can have, the common sources are olive oil, avocados, peanuts, cashews, sesame oil, dark chocolate, etc. Polyunsaturated fat, which is also good for us, the common sources are salmon, walnuts, fat seeds, chia seeds, and sunflower seeds. Saturated fats, which has to be taken in moderation, the common sources are butter, ghee, red meat, chicken skin, egg yolk, etc. Trans fat, the one that we have to really, really avoid, common sources are packaged snacks, fast food, microwave popcorn, and other bakery products including pastries and donuts. Now if you look into egg, egg has got polyunsaturated fat, monounsaturated fat in good amount which is really really good for your body. It has got a bit of saturated fat which of course you can take in moderation and egg has got zero trans fat. What does this say? Egg is a good source of all this good fat, the polyunsaturated and the monounsaturated fat. These fats are required for hormone production, functioning of our brain, cellular repair and growth, and many more. If you are a healthy individual, just by thinking it will elevate your serum cholesterol level, don't be without eating eggs. You can safely eat one to two whole eggs every day. Don't worry that your cholesterol levels will go up and avoid taking eggs. This is similar to you are worried about losing money and being hesitant to invest in something. Just because of this fear, you are losing something that is really, really valuable. However, if you are a diabetic, general recommendations would be to eat two to three eggs a week. But it is always good to check with your doctor before you do so. And if you are already somebody who is having elevated cholesterol level, it is better not to eat the egg yolk, but the egg white will be very safe for you to eat. Now, it is also very important to discuss which is the healthier way to cook an egg. Definitely, boiling an egg is the best practice to have. Poaching and also scrambled egg by using lesser oil are also considered to be healthier. Do not overheat while you are cooking an egg. Try to avoid deep fried or eggs that are cooked with a lot of cheese. Now, if you are not really sure about your cholesterol levels, the blood work that you should do is the fasting lipid profile. By doing this, you will get to know about your LDL, HDL, triglycerides, etc. So, eggs are not really our enemies and they are highly nutritious that we have to include them into our daily nutrition plan. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and share it to somebody who told you it can increase cholesterol. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.